Lhasa Super Generics Limited Q1 FI22 earnings conference call. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchtone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Dr. Omkar Herlekar, Chairman and Managing Director, Lhasa Supergenics. Thank you and over to you, sir. Good morning, everyone. On the behalf of Lhasa Supergenics Limited, I extend a very warm welcome to everyone present on this conference call today to discuss Lhasa's financial performance for the quarter ended June 30, 2021. We have issued a detailed financials. Hopefully, all of you had a chance to review it. At the outset, I hope that most of you must be vaccinated by now. And if not, I urge to get it as soon as possible. Like always, I will begin by giving a brief overview about LASA, followed by a review of the company's financial performance. Company's overview, LASA Supergenrix is a leading manufacturer of healthcare is a leading healthcare company engaged in the manufacturing of veterinary and human APIs as well as animal feed ingredients. We have multiple state of the art WHO GMP certified manufacturing units located in Maharashtra having a total manufacturing capacity of 5,300 metric tons per annum. Further, our manufacturing operations have a significant backward integration linkages which enables us to effectively cover all the aspects right from discovery to delivery. The USP of our company lies in our expertise in the catalyst chemistry and our patented intellectual property rights. We leverage our expertise in catalyst chemistry to make the API manufacturing process more efficient by utilizing suitable catalysts. After establishing a suitable catalyst and the manufacturing process for a specific product, we apply for patenting the process. At present, LASA owns multiple proprietary catalyst patents for its key API products. Patenting our unique production process prevents competition from using the same process, thereby providing LASA with a significant competitive edge and positioning it as a preferred supplier among the basket of customers. LASA boasts of a product strong portfolio consisting of diverse mix of various products across the animal and the human API chain. On the customer profile front, our product is catered to over 400 customers across the animal and human healthcare value chain, including multinational pharma companies, poultry and dairy industry, and small domestic formulators and traders. Coming on the update of natural calamity in our factory, there was a flood caused by heavy monsoon rainfall in the western India state of Maharashtra, in which Ratnagiri and Raigad, the coastal districts in the state of Konkan region, were worst hit. Water also lashed out in all our factories situated in Konkan, and also fire took place in our factory premises situated in Mahar in the midnight of July 23 this year. The fire was so huge, but we shall remain ever grateful to God that no casualty was reported in any of our factories. Since loss of human is something which we cannot rebuild, others can be achieved back sooner or later. In units situated in Chipalun, the loss was not much. However, fire caused, in the, fire caused substantial loss in the Mahar unit. But good part is that our manufacturing plant along with all the reactors and equipments were completely saved with the efforts of the team and the local residents over there. Unfortunately, due to ongoing litigation with New India Assurance Company, with respect to the payment of our pending claim in 2019, we were not covered under the insurance of the date of incidents. We have assessed the actual loss, which may be up to the extent of Rupees 11 crore of current assets and approximately 6 crores of fixed assets. Even though the loss is substantial, but there is nothing to panic about it. It's our team working tirelessly to overcome this. I assure you that we should be back on almost the same numbers, 
within the quarter it is just we need to have your patience and support which is our strength now a crisp update on the scheme of arrangement for acquisition of harishri aromatics and chemicals private limited company have already received an in principle approval from sebi and also the scheme is approved by our dear shareholders of the company in the court conveyed meeting held in the month of june 21 we have already submitted all the relevant documentaries with honorable nclt and await further hearings in the same matter update on the launch of two blockbuster products we have prolonged the launch of our two products for at least a quarter oxyclozonide was just launched and the production was about to commence from this month however we have to sh- we had to shift our production of our existing products in mahad in the newly dedicated facilities of to sustain the sale of the existing products now coming on to our financial performance during q1 in fy22 many external factors like low demand prolonged lockdowns government dedicated focus on vaccinations overall decrease in consumption of milk and milk products due to economical hit in the middle class class population as well as delay in deworming drives which usually happens in schools during this particular season led to a temporary decline in our top line situation is much much improved now besides this the temporary recovery from the natural calamity no other factors look disturbing for the growth of the company and i repeat we are very confident to overcome this within a quarter coming on the numbers of fy22 revenue from operations for the first quarter stood at 36.07 crore the company reported a ebitda of rupees 4.63 crore the company's ebitda margin stood at 12.83 crores sorry 12.83% the company reported a pat of 0.81 crore that is a pat margin of 2.23% earning per share for the quarter ended q122 stood at 0.2 outlook going forward we should definitely deliver improved top line we are already determined for all the success but all of a sudden the entire maharashtra suffered from this natural calamity which is beyond anybody's control however someone rightly said one chapter doesn't define your entire life we should grow rapidly with a consistent growth thank you for your kind attention i would request the operator to open the floor for the question and answer session now thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on your touchstone telephone If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking questions. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. To ask questions, please press star and one. The first question is from the line of Abhijit Kavlekar, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello, hello, yeah. uh yeah thank you for having this uh, con call uh my thank question you. is uh, actually uh, this was very unfortunate of uh, of uh, loss and fire that happened but uh, going to, uh, going further what we have planned so that we won't have these two issues first is uh, like uh, like uh, having insurance because i know that there was a litigation going on and uh, that i can see on bombay uh, that uh, high court that is there so what what will be doing in the future about that and uh, next thing like uh, as i can uh, re- i read everywhere like this situation of flood is going to be get worsened in coming mm. years maybe mm. it may happen next year maybe after two years so mm. what we will be planning because as we can see the factory is nearby to the savitri river mm. so what we will plan for the future that is a uh, two concerns right yeah. yeah now the thing is that the factory not only the factory but the entire mdc is in the low lying area entire mdc 
and it was not only us but a couple of few other uh, maybe half a dozen of industries were uh, inflicted with fire and explosions as you know i did not name those companies as such but overall mar industrial area took a worse hit in fact there were a lot of casualties in other companies fortunately we got saved out of the casualty there was no single reported casualty during the incident so as far as the geographic uh, this thing situation of mar industrial area is concerned we really can't do anything much about it the only thing we can assure is that uh, uh, see because here all the our mar unit was a really a state of the art unit with all the safety protocols all the fire uh, measures all the explosive measures were uh, taken into consideration and a regular safety audit from a third party we used to conduct to ensure that we are 100% safe but as you know as i can say accident is accident and this was a huge natural disaster huge means massive the uh, water level was to the level of the second floor so you can just imagine and uh, what happened you must be knowing most of the there are some of the chemicals which when uh, get in uh, contact with water they immediately catch fire so as the water level started increasing we immediately started shifting of the dangerous goods to the from the first ground floor usually the store is on the ground floor from ground floor to the first floor but unfortunately the water surpassed the first floor also and then we we would we were really able to do nothing and uh, as a reason as a consequence this happened in a long term major one can have a fair guess that you know this products can be shifted on to uh, chiplun industrial area because chiplun industrial area is way to at a higher level from the sea level sea altitude so well, usually uh, whenever any big the uh, flood or anything comes the chiplun area is uh, not hit much as compared to the mar industrial area so maybe gradually we have to take a pragmatic call seeing such kind of incidences if such kind of incidences are repeatedly happening because in 2018 also there was a full flood in 2000 uh, this thing this year also the same kind of uh, flood we had to experience so this is the answer for that we have to slowly phase wise Uh, shift the dependency of the mar unit onto chipulu unit and then we have a huge land bank in chipulu like 42 acres of free land is uh, available with me, uh, with the company so uh, shifting the production activities over there is not a big deal a little of capex will be required but that can be done through the internal uh, accruals and slowly it can be done it need not be done in overnight way so this is this is one of the major we may think about going in future not nothing certain we let us take a pragmatic call over this okay so this was your first question rather the second question which i answered first and the first question was like uh, regarding the insurance of the uh, uninsured part of the company okay so as you know the ongoing litigation with the insurance company for uh, payment of almost 13 crores of the this thing in uh, fy 18 or 1918 19 so that is pending from uh, the company and see what happens if a particular company denies a insurance policy particularly for petrochemicals i am repeating particularly for petrochemicals which are very much uh, you know susceptible to uh, fire hazard or typically prone to fire hazard so such kind of uh, you know uh, uh, insurance policies which cover the petrochemical damage due to fire only few insurance companies are underwriting such kind of claims like you know new india is one among them then there is a second company government company only united insurance and uh, uh, there is one more i don't remember the name Uh, so you know the three or two or three people are only there in the market to underwrite this claim yet we are under negotiations with them for how to cover the fire liability here after rest other liability everything is covered like directors liability and uh, you know third party liability pollution liability product liability everything is covered we don't have any issues with other insurance policy only this particular fire policy was uh, pending because uh, there was a uh, there was a subsidized uh, situation over here i hope so you understand this so uh, yet we are uh, into negotiations with them so that we can get uh, a policy even though not from the existing insurer but at least from some other uh, agency unfortunately private guys are not much into petrochemicals so like uh, private companies who underwrite other policies they, they don't underwrite fire policy for petrochemicals so that is one of the big deal yet we will come back to you once we, uh, we are in negotiations with them once we get some concrete feedback and some guaranteed answer from them we will revert you over this okay and uh, yeah yeah 
yeah uh, so my uh, last question was regarding uh, the uh, land bank that we have in the uh, future expansion that may ha- we may have we will have mm-hmm. will it be in mahad or chiplun but as you answered uh, i'm happy that it will be in chiplun and uh, yeah and- because chiplun chiplun if you see the uh, geographical aspects chiplun is very much high. not chiplun ah, our industrial area is lote parshuram it is not chiplun chiplun is at a, at a low lying district it is it is very much near to the sea level but uh, lote parshuram is pretty much at a higher it is a hillock only you know the entire uh, industrial area is a hillock so water usually never even though there is a fl- uh, this thing temporary flooding kind of a situation because of the heavy rainfall flood or else stagnant water doesn't happen over there never so it is a flowing water continuously and the damage is uh, don't uh, you know even this time also the, 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 there was no much of damage in chiplun whatever you know because of the thunderstorms and the wind whatever uh, uh, you know physical damage to the this thing sheds and all very 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 minor i will say i mean like you know, nothing significant as such so only that much that is because of the winds particularly not because of the water and uh, sir uh, just one additional question uh, has the production in our uh, i mean i understand that the you, i i understand your question production is started okay uh, production is started production about... in the mahad unit is started uh, we are okay. we are uh, we are announcing it very officially uh, maybe within uh, by today's day or uh, Uh, our company secretary team is behind it just we got a mail today morning so i would love to share it with you that com- production is started in the mahad unit as i as i just mentioned in my con call uh, the damage to the equipments were minimum the main damage which happened was to our micro microbiological laboratory to the quality control laboratory to the quality assurance area and the store area the main uh, loss was uh, in the store only the current assets that is the uh, inventory work in process and uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, raw materials which are stored in the three storied building got uh, this thing so uh, current uh, the fixed assets are not much damaged sir Okay, um, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Anthony Joy, mm-hmm. who is an just wanted to follow up on the same question and uh, now uh, you uh, you uh, can you tell me from the customer point of view how are they have how have they seen the calamity? Uh, this is a calamity i mean like nobody can do anything about it so in fact the customers were very much supportive most of the customers uh, helped us with uh, finances also for the resurrection of the unit because since our most of the current assets which amounted to inventory were burnt out the company was into a little of uh, you know uh, uh, tough cash flow situation i will say but our customers were so uh, you know cooperative and uh, this thing they gave us advances for uh, starting the production and for even for the raw material. real to require they helped us in a very very jolly way so definitely thanks to our customers for that all right sir uh, my second question is sir i noticed that your uh, employee benefit expenses have increased and mm-hmm. similarly is your finance cost have we not mm-hmm. reached a stage of uh, debt free company and second thing is have we hired any sp- specialist people for expansion purpose See, the finance cost is not increased, sir. The finance cost, with respect to the turnover, the top line which you saw, the as a proportion of the top line, the finance cost you you might be looking a little bit a little bit of increase. But in actual numbers, the finance cost has not increased. I will tell you, ours is a complete debt-free company, but. but <clears throat> the finance cost which is reflected in the balance sheet is because of uh, certain uh, facilities we uh, avail from the bank like lc discounting like a foreign customer is used as a lc so for that lc we have to discount that lc okay so to get the money immediately it is not a loan it is not a loan please understand it is a bank privilege which uh, we are enjoying so for that bank is charging us some fees uh, i hope so you can understand what i'm saying right right Right, how right, about right. The, so it is, yeah how yeah. about 
employee expenses sir have yeah, you yeah. so so we have hired 18 number of people one eight 18 number of people uh, for a entire r&d work like, you know because we are, as i told you we are coming up with two blockbuster products and really blockbuster where i am mean, it was really a unfortunate situation that this happened in konkan otherwise we would have almost started the production we had taken veterans of the reactors also for those products but unfortunately uh, because of this uh, it got delayed so we have hired a team of 18 people for um, for this particular development and uh, uh, this thing uh, commissioning of these two products on the plant scale so uh, their uh, employee expenses have increased to a smaller extent smaller extent that's uh, right sir thank you thank you thank you Before we take the next question, a reminder to participants that you may press star and one to join the question queue. The next question is from the line of Ajit Kumar, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hi, uh, Dr. Omkar. Hi. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot for having this call. Uh, it, is, it is very helpful for uh, individual investors like us. Thank you. So I have two questions. Uh, one is uh, regarding this incident. How it is impacting the top line? And see yes. when this uh, top line impact would uh, uh, continue. See, first of all, this incident has nothing to do with the top line impact because this incident has happened in the first quarter, and the flood has not happened in the first quarter. The flood is in the second quarter right now. So the first in the first quarter, the top line was impacted only because of the ongoing second wave of the pandemic. See, our majority of the income comes from school deworming programs. in in the in the villages and uh, everywhere in the country there are deworming program which happen in the monsoon season okay and uh, uh, this particular uh, deworming program demands uh, the deworming aps which we produce actually so the deworming campaigns have totally stopped secondly because the schools are not operating as you know very well secondly very importantly uh, the, the demand for milk and milk products like uh, paneer and chicken and all this uh, uh, milk products which are prevalently used in the country for uh, different occasions like uh, uh, marriages anniversaries etc birthdays etc etc this took a big hit because of the lockdown as well as the uh, middle class people who are the majority consumers of this product took a hit because of the uh, weak economical position in the country because of lot of uh, the pandemic driven uh, low economy basically so because of which uh, the milk product uh, and its uh, corresponding industry which consumes our kind of products took a hit uh, set back and it is very evident from uh, the top line of our peers also not only that lasa is posting <laughs> lower top line all our peer group companies who are into similar products have also faced the same situation so this was the situation in the q1 however in the q2 we are seeing really i mean like in my speech also i said that you know uh, from the coming quarters uh, uh, the top line seems improving it seems improving like the demand has started coming our sales has started improving now only because of this accident around say 20 25 days we lost because we had to entirely clean up the facility you know and uh, do the regulatory uh, what you call what you call um, uh, finishings and all whatever uh, are demanded by the, the, the this thing fda we have to co- complete the procedure so it took a little of a time so other than that other than the 25 days i don't think there is any big hit for the top line we should be able to maintain it it uh, i don't feel uh, it as a big deal also the bottom line also not only top line the proportionate decline in the bottom line is also a result of the same only so bottom line and top line should come back to uh, rather should surpass if at all uh, everything goes well uh, should surpass the last quarters last years uh, q2s uh, this thing what you call uh, b- b- financial performance that's it okay thanks uh, omkar and thank uh, you, one more you. thing how are you looking at uh, the recent raw material price hikes and also freight uh, shortage uh, is it impacting your export Mm, raw material was not really uh, increased in our case 
if i mean if i if i thoroughly study it uh, raw material cost has not gone up it is only because of the lack of uh, lack of demand it was a pushing strategy this uh, quarter like you know we were compelled to sell our products uh, you know sometimes you know because to to combat our regular expenses we have to uh, do sales no that is mandatory for us so for that we had to undercut some of the prices of our finished products and sell it so uh, indirectly it is looking that the raw material price has gone up it is not like that the selling price has come down Okay, and what about uh, the price shortage? Is it impacting export, Umka? Uh, no, no, no. Exports are not at all impacted. In fact, we are nicely having a ratio of fifty-fifty exports and domestic. So we are lever, like you know, we have leveraged it. It is not that we are focused only on uh, domestic or only on exports. Both are almost fifty-fifty. So uh, exports are not impacting. In fact, exports have picked up in this quarter, sir. Okay, and one last question. What about the dividend announcement? Uh, when is already to... done? Now, dividend announcement is already done in the last uh, announcement, which was done. In... So, dividend will be given immediately. Uh, Mr. Ritesh, can you please comment on the dividend? I am not really aware about the. Uh... Mr. Ritesh, uh, in its coming AGM, so it will be uh, once it is approved by shareholders, then it will be paid within thirty days. Okay, thanks a lot, Itesh and Dumkar. Thanks yeah. for clarifying. Thanks a lot. Thank you. A reminder to participants that you may press star and one to ask questions. The next question is from the line of Vinay Pai, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Pai. uh will you be able to sustain the quarterly dividend i mean that you had uh, promised us last time uh, this, this year for, for this uh, current fy no we we can promise you a yearly dividend yearly dividend quarterly right now i cannot promise you because of uh, you know it's a really a force major uh, thing which has uh, which has to be taken into consideration you know because since company will always first see its cash flow if the cash flow is good then the dividend is doable okay so uh, we, we will we will definitely it will it will i, I can guarantee you that this will be a dividend paying company year on year every year a dividend will be given but interim dividend for the quarter i really doubt for this particular quarter because uh, the, the company was and is into a little cash flow pressure i will not say crisis it's in a cash flow pressure because of the loss of the current assets which has happened and maybe maximum for a quarter this week this is going to remain it is this is not going to be a uh, story for every quarter this uh, in fact i am very proactive that whatever loss has happened i'll cover up in the coming quarter complete loss will be covered up in the single quarter so i don't want to keep the hangover for the rest of the year of the loss which has happened uh sir my uh, no my specific question is like say for example if uh, q2 q3 q4 are very good you know uh, in uh, uh, individually so will will q2 dividend be announced q3 dividend be announced like that that is what i am Uh, no, for Q2 I can cannot assure you. For Q3 we may start again. Uh, you know we can discuss on the Q2 call call. Okay. For, okay. But for Q2 for very certain for Q2 we won't be able to pay any uh, interim dividend as such. Interim dividend specifically because uh, okay. we have we have to first look into our own cash flow. Okay. Uh, so next is the, how do you uh, foresee the margins uh, going forward? Uh, Q2, Q3, Q4 in this year because last yeah, year margins, the margins were margin, excellent. Margins will be as per the last year only. Has to be as per the last year. Why? Why shouldn't it be? Margins have to be uh, unless otherwise there is some extraordinary item like which came in uh, this year. Really, it was an extraordinary item. So we had to take a hit. So margins will be uh, otherwise good. Otherwise good. Okay. Uh, since your um, uh, the uh, the hard unit has started uh, in Q2 specifically, as a percentage of uh, the regular turnover, how much less it will be? Uh, because your ship loan is down. Only Mahad is working. No sir. No sir. No sir. No sir. You are wrong. Ship loan is ah. working. Mahad is down. Oh, oh sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Fine. Acha. Fine. Mahad, so Mahad, Mahad is not down. Mahad was down. And Mahad has also started. Mahad has also started. From today, the production in Mahad is started. 
I'm putting up a, a detailed release of this on uh, this thing on the exchange along with the photos also of the started plant. So you have okay. to be rest assured about it. Don't worry. Only this 20, 25 no, no, days have gone, amounting to a top yeah. line of around four, four and a half crore of top line is lost. But we'll cover it in the next two months. Don't worry about it, sir. Our production people are okay. very much enthusiastic to cover this for whatever loss has happened. Right, sir. Th thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Anthony Joy, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, sir, uh, how, is, how is our new Molecule Plus progesterone uh, doing at the moment? And ha do we have any multinational uh, clients as our customers or maybe oh. in future? We are already associated with a lot of multinational clients. Uh, as a protocol, I am not able to spell them out because uh, I have to take their permission to take their name on the phone. But uh, we have a lot of blue chip MNC companies, very blue chip MNC companies with which we have, who, who are exclusively buying from us, exclusively. So your second question about progesterone. Progesterone was also a product which was produced in Mahad. So it has also taken a temporary hit. So we are not, uh, you know, rushing up to start the progesterone activity first because Fenmendazole is our preliminary product. So we have started right now the production of Fenmendazole. Progesterone being a steroid item requires some more uh, strict discipline as far as uh, FDA documentation and record keeping is concerned. So maybe after the resurrection of micro, micro lab and uh, the QL and QC laboratories, everything when everything is on place, pick and span as per what it was earlier, then we will be able to start progesterone. So anyways, progesterone was not a very much of top line generating product. Uh, in the last year also and this year also we were a little slow on progesterone so let us you know uh, let us not expect that because of uh, progesterone is not starting so that the top line will not happen it is not like that the top line will definitely uh, be as per uh, whatever uh, last year we saw I hope so, going ahead. Only the first quarter was a little, uh, this thing like turbulent as I explained you in the earlier uh, question also uh, my second question is, are we looking to get into any highly regulated market, any new market where margins could be much better? Mm, no, not at the moment. And uh, we are already into all the markets, uh, maybe regulated or unregulated. Already we are present in the markets and we are also enjoying a very much better bargain business at the moment. At the moment also we are supplying to Europe, we are supplying to Latin America. Everywhere we are supplying. So it is not that we are not into highly regulated markets. Uh, like, you know, we are supplying to such customers whom uh, really people would uh, fantasize about, you know. So such kind of customers are already there in our basket. And our plants are really very pristine, very good plants we have. Auditable plants, which most of the customers are already audited. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Madhur Kotare, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, Dr. Hunkar, a couple of con calls ago, uh, right. you had mentioned that your order books were full. In fact, you were advising your sales team not to push too much because your entire capacity was in a way booked. So now suddenly we are expecting uh, you know, much less demand because of the vaccine uh, pushed by the government. So yes. the question was, uh, if half of your demand is from exports, and uh, you know the the deworming specific thing has gone down, then why yes. so much fall in the sale? Just so there, is no, so there is no so much fall in the sale. So much fall in the sale. The earlier sale was used to be around 50 to 54 crores was a bracket. And now today I have posted around 36 crores. So it is not so much fall in the sale. The export is intact. The local market, the uh, the deworming campaigns, which I still have their orders in hand. I still have their orders in hand. Only the thing is that they have deferred the deliveries. The deliveries are being deferred, not the orders. I still, I still maintain this statement that I have a three-quarter of order book in hand right now. Three quarters directly. And really, we have, because see, ours is a monopoly product. No? It's a, really a monopoly product which requires uh, different kind of uh, infrastructure, a kind of, uh, uh, you know, the uh, regulatory concerns and all, which we really uh, enjoy. 
so order book is not a question only the delivery schedule is a problem because they are not taking because the formulations are the, the formulator guys they say that you know because of the uh, lockdown and because of the schools not operating the deworming program is totally halted and our uh, monsoon uh, the sale used to come from this deworming activity always and uh, pre monsoon the formulators used to buy from us the product so that you know the tablets get formulated and before the monsoon starts it will be administered to the children okay thanks and then one question now albendazole is still our largest molecule a large part of our sales are coming from that uh, do you want to keep it that way or are you looking at uh, staggering it across multiple molecules for various reasons it's yeah, nothing wrong yeah. in having concentration in one molecule and being strong in it just wanted to understand yeah. your thinking on it uh my thinking on albendazole is that we are very strong in albendazole and we will remain continue to be strong in albendazole only rather i have put up a additional facility for making albendazole more quantity albendazole so my growth in albendazole should also go up as as well as i have also put up some additional backward integration like i am putting up a plant for making ortho nitro aniline so ona plant i am putting up so i used to buy ona up till yet but now we are planning to produce ona also not planning we are almost uh, completed our pilot trials also in ona so albendazole will go on plus this two new blockbuster products one is oxyclonazole other is a painkiller drug painkiller and anti inflammatory drug so both will start and then they will defocus on uh, no, sorry 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 to use the word defocus it will dilute uh, the rather uh, the to total the uh, dependency of albendazole which you are seeing as a major product maybe 40 45% or 50% of the sale is coming from albendazole that will get uh, you know slowly slowly diluted because these two products are coming and oxyclozone is a very big product this crazy big product very big it's a huge demand you a demand driven product it is so oxyclozone stands to be our commitment for uh, the coming quarters and uh, albendazole will go on sir it's a very beautiful product we have crafted it we have got almost regulatory approvals in all the places for uh, albendazole we are registered with the mnc also for albendazole so it is like that thank you dr omkar that thank, thank you very much thank you, thank you. thanks thank you participants who wish to ask questions may press star and 1 The next question is from Vinay Pai, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, ox- just now you are spe- speaking about that molecule ox- uh, oxy. Oxy something. Oxyclozone. Uh, yeah, oxyclozone. Yeah. Who are, who are the competitors in India? In in, in India, there is a co- company by the name of Ciflon <laughs> Drugs. Then there is a company by the name of Adani Pharma. These two companies are oh. making uh, oxyclozone. It was only two people. That's it. and uh, and our capacity is higher than them or how, yeah, have, how, 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 how we'll be starting with a bare minimum capacity of 10 tons a month and slowly slowly over a period of year one year or one or 14 months i'll be taking we'll be taking it to a level of around 20 tons that is doubling the capacity so 10 tons of oxyclozone comes to around 2 uh, to 1 and a half crores of material okay, per month fine. per month to start with that uh, to start uh-huh. with So, okay. so 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 on an annual basis you may consider around 20 24 25 crores of top line it will add on to approximately and, for this year and for what is the year. usual margin for that see as, as you know i only deal with we only deal with products which are giving around say 23 24% of ebitda levels with a very unfortunate event in the last quarter which has happened so but it shouldn't be a, a, as i said that it, it should not be a landmark for the company's progress okay yeah another thing is uh, in the last to last uh, question query you had, you had said that uh, uh, you have to take the permission of the buyer of your products to publish their to tell their name isn't it yes yes, uh, yes. so sir, why don't you t- take all the permissions of all your uh, customers and pub- give it in the presentation it will greatly enhance our visibility in the market you know i mean in the investing community if, mm, if famous that is a, people that are is a, Uh, that is a that, that is a good question and uh, that is a good suggestion rather but uh, you know uh, if if i write to the regulatory team to give the consent to publish their names they have their they have their own apprehensions and they have their protocols to uh, allow me to do this because they will not approve like this they will put it in the board in their board meeting and if their board approves then only they will give me the approval so it is like that so we can definitely start the process of asking for approvals 
but usually see many people they don't care about it they straight away say but i usually uh, take such kind of things into uh, my understanding before i talk anything you know because it it, it may come as a liability on us if we don't uh, follow that kind of uh, protocol yeah, yeah. i mean at least if it could be started say yeah, six yeah. months from now or three from now if a customer yeah, has, we can start. you know we can very well start we can very well start we can right yeah yeah thank you sir Thank you very much. That was the last question in queue. On behalf of Lasa Super Generics Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. You may now disconnect your lines.